Welcome to the online course, Interosseous Muscle Tightness Testing. That inability limits the natural maximum elongation of the interosseous muscle to elongate the interosseous muscle, either actively or passively. We want to focus on PFE joint flexion. Always remember that during any of this testing, that the finger must maintain neutral alignment. Do the same thing, and she can also bring the MP joint. You can see that as I push the MP joint into hyperextension while maximally flexing the PIP joint. MP joint alone will always hyperextend more than when you're also flexing the PIP joint. Is there less passive PIP flexion? Yes or no? spend a couple of minutes on how to quantify our testing. We now hyperextend the MP joint to answer the question, is there less, but we were not able to reach that, we were only able to get to 8 on the injured ulnar sided interossei that now have no tension on them, and they now, here we see that his active flexion is very limited, MP joint must be blocked, and it must be blocked in the accurate position of hyperextension that we measured.